This is my old guest bathroom that I'll be remodeling entirely. Hey guys, welcome to Dedicated. My name is Andy and let's get right into it. First things first, I removed everything from the bathroom and laid out the blanket into the tub for an easier cleanup during the demolition process. Next, I removed all the old faucets and valve. The valve looked really old and rusty and needed to be replaced. Then, I removed the shower head and began the demolition process. For all the detailed instructions on each step of the remodel process, I have a video playlist that you can check out in the cards or the links in the description below along with all the materials and tools I used for this bathroom remodel. Next, I installed the cement board. I made provisions for two notches in the left wall. Then I had to replace the copper plumbing with CPVC. I had to move the valve a bit higher since I'm making this into a shower instead of a tub. And yes, I know I could have used PEX tubing to do this, but here in Florida, it's common to use CPVC for plumbing. Check your codes in your state when you're doing any type of plumbing or electrical work. Make sure you follow per code. CPVC was pretty easy to use and I was happy with the results that came out. Next, I redid the drain. I bought this square drain and decided to keep it closer to the shower instead of putting it in the middle. And this way I can avoid destroying the concrete and repiping the entire drain. Then came the waterproofing for the shower walls. I bought this net tape and sealed all the seams and used aqua defense to paint all over the joints and screws. Someone recommended to use cement first to cover up all the seams, but I think that's a bit of an overkill, but it never hurts to go above and beyond. We bought our shower tile from Floor & Decor and began the tiling process. The key to tiling a shower is making sure you measure everything out and plan it out before starting. Then it's just a time consuming process to tile all the walls. It took me a really long time to finish the shower because I had to make a lot of cuts because of the style of the tile I used, but eventually it was all done. Next was the floor demolition. I used a jackhammer and removed all the old tile. Then I used these pavers to build a shower curb. It was pretty easy and straightforward to make the curb using the same thin set that was used for the floor tile. Next, I removed the mirror by prying it off the wall and destroyed it with my hammer so I can fit it into the trash bin. Then I removed my sink and the vanity. First, I removed all the plumbing and the sink drain under the sink. I struggled a bit with removing the metal flanges because I didn't have the right tools. Then I cut around the vanity and unscrewed the bolts and hauled the vanity away. Next, I removed the toilet. I turned off the water, drained out the tank, and unscrewed the bolts and hauled the toilet away. Then I placed it in my yard and had a little fun destroying it with my oldest daughter. Then I removed the rest of the tile under the toilet, cleaned the floor from all the debris, and the floor was ready for tiling. But first, I filled the drain area with some cement and started working on prepping the floor for mud set. I marked all my walls to which level I'll have my mud set and began to level the, the shower floor. Mixing the mud set is fairly easy. You want to make sure it's like a snowball type of consistency and you just go for it. For detailed instructions, you can check out the links in the description below. Then I put some more thin set on the areas that had imperfections and began to tile the bathroom floor. I used half inch trowel so that it was easy to level the tile while installing it. I used the small mosaic pieces that I used on the notch on the walls to make a transition between my wood floors in the hallway and the bathroom tile and it turned out great. For the toilet hole I made a paper template to help me outline the hole on the tile. 
This made it so much easier to making the cuts and making it right the first try. It's typically easier to lay everything out in a small area like this prior to putting the cement down. This way you can do all your cuts down and then when you're putting the cement you can just go all the way without having to pause to make the cuts. Next I took the aqua defense and some waterproofing membrane and started to paint the floor in the shower with the aqua defense. I did the first coat and then applied the waterproofing membrane in all the corners. Then I applied the waterproofing paint on top of the membrane for a final coat. Then it was time to tile the shower floor. Again I first laid everything out and did all my cuts and then started to apply the cement for a permanent installation. After that came tiling the shower curb. Again, I cut all the pieces for the sides first, then installed them on thin set. Then I cut and laid out all the top pieces along with the edge piece, and then installed them on thin set as well. Next, I started to grout the bathroom floor. First, you clean it, then mix up some grout to this consistency, and then go to town spreading it out. Once you complete a small area, you want to wash it off. I used sand and grout for the bathroom and shower floors. Then I turned off my circuit breaker and removed, and removed the light fixture. These Hollywood light fixtures are fairly easy to remove. After that, I patched up all the holes and painted the walls before installing the new light fixture. Next, I had two big holes in the drywall from removing the towel holder. I used a small piece of wood and screwed it into the wall from the inside. Then I used a piece of drywall and screwed it into the wood. Then I patched up, but it looked like crap, so I decided to get one of these templates from Amazon and try to match the texture. It didn't turn out perfect, but it was good enough to, to blend in. Next, I bought this vanity from Lowe's and had to make some minor modifications to allow access to the valve and to the drain pipe. I drilled out two small holes and then used a jigsaw to cut the opening for the drain pipe. I used a hole saw drill bit to make the hole for the shutoff valve. I used two screws in three different places to hold the vanity to the wall. Prior to screwing it in, I made sure it was leveled. Next, I cut off my old shutoff valves and prepped the piping and installed new, new valves. Then I installed a new wax ring and a new toilet. The new toilet was a Delta brand, so I followed the instructions that came with the toilet. You can watch the video in the description if you have a similar toilet. I hooked up the water line and tested to make sure there was no leaks. Next, I started to clean the shower tile, mixed some unsanded grout, and began to grout the shower walls. Then I washed the access grout off, touched up any spots that I missed, and the shower grouting was done. Next, I got this three-piece jacuzzi faucet for the sink, laid out all the components out, and installed the faucet with the valves. The installation was pretty straightforward. You can just follow the instructions that come with the faucet that you buy. The faucet came with this drain transition piece that was pretty easy to install. Then I started to plumb the drain. I bought one of these drain kits and pieced it all together. I had to trim the drain pipe to make it fit better. I also had to buy this extension to complete the drain. Then I ran the water to check for leaks and it was ready to go. Next, I installed the shower head. I used a multi-valve to have the ability to switch between a handheld shower head and a fixed one or have the ability to run them both. Then I installed the shower valve cover and the handle. Next, I tested the shower head and make sure there was no leaks. Next, I removed the old medicine cabinet by taking out the door, then taking these four screws out. I also had to pry off the border around the medicine cabinet before completely removing it. I installed this glass one instead. The last thing I installed was this big glass sliding door. I bought it online and came in this big crate. So here's the hardware that it came with and here's the handle that it came with. And then I just followed the instructions that it came with to do the glass door installation. The door turned out great and it wasn't too difficult to install. 
Well, that's it guys. Here's what the bathroom ended up looking like. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.